How do folks? Welcome. So uh, an antenna has landed, as if I didn't have enough already. So um, this one is from Sigma Eurocom. I ordered it directly from their eBay shop. Um, it did seem to be closed for a while, the shop, but uh, thankfully uh, it reopened. I ordered it and the antenna turned up in no time, so I'm very pleased. I think it's about, uh, I'll have to confirm, about £23 delivered. Anyway, what it is, it's the um, Pro 11 meter single band HF mobile antenna and uh, rated at 250 watts, helically wound, tunable whip, total length approximately 2.4 meters. Uh, the Sigma Eurocom AM Pro, so it's AM dash Pro, um, blah blah blah, and they also do single band antennas for all sorts of uh, amateur radio bands as well so uh yeah um thanks to tim it was that gave me the heads up of this on this antenna a while back um and basically uh, i have had a little bit of uh, money come through from uh, google for my efforts with the youtube channel uh, if you worked it out it'd be an absolute pathetic rate of pay but i thought um what i'll do i'll plow it back into the hobby and um as you've seen i've managed to uh, buy this antenna and um, sort of put a bit back into uh, the uh, economy so to speak so there we are anyway without further ado here it is and uh, it's a two-piece it comes as a two-piece thing just uh, in a packet joined together with some elastic bands and it comes with that little sheet there and that's about it an allen key and um, yeah whoops i dropped that so um yeah that's pretty much it really um top section i did uh notice i don't know if it's supposed to but the top piece didn't have the it's a small thing but it is a thing it didn't have the little uh cap on the top i don't that uh, got lost somewhere along the line but i had to put my own on there so uh that's that's a small thing but it is a thing so um that's that the bottom half is this um helically wound very gentle wine there with some quite thick wire there appears to be no loading coil whatsoever and at the top you've got a double grub screw arrangement for the uh, whip to slot into now the first thing i noticed that this thing is incredibly lightweight no flexibility to it i felt it's really quite um incredible how lightweight this thing is and i figured the only way it could be that lightweight is if it's hollow and indeed it is and that's a good thing uh because um i want this one this this is not really intended uh, i would imagine for people to drive around with it's a, a static mobile type antenna and that's the thing that i'm looking for really i'm not sure if i'll um go with this one in the uh, polo or i'll go with it in the toyota but uh, i'll try it on both vehicles and um I have to tell you, I have already tried it out versus the triple load, and uh, you'll get to see that shootout after this uh, sort of uh, intro. Anyway, what happens is the um, top section slots into that, and then uh, there is actually um, a mark on the whip. There's the original mark there. That's the mark I've made because. Um, I lined it up with the mark that was on the whip. SWR was pretty good, but um, just to bring it down a little bit on the top of the UK 40, I um, retuned it and I've remarked it. So uh, when I put it back on the vehicle, at least the Polo, I line it up with that mark and the SWR should be uh, as good as it gets. It easily covers the um, 80 channels. I'd imagine this antenna is good for 2 megahertz. Very flat uh, SWR curve all the way over the 80 channels. It's about a megahertz. I reckon this would cover 1.5 maybe 2 megahertz um, without too much difficulty. So that's pretty good. Anyway the, the thing I really like about it actually not only that it's lightweight but that whip slides all the way down in until only that much sticks out so that makes that very very easy to transport so uh, that's a big thumbs up for this antenna i like that 
so uh, there we go so um, what else can I say the um, heat shrink over it doesn't feel too great so I think if it was left out to weather it would uh, peel like uh, it feels like the same material they use on the uh, super flexies but say this uh, generally will live inside the car and just come out for uh, static mobile uh, operations on the uh, on the CB nets and um, I think um, for that purpose it should be pretty good so uh, the long and short of it what we've got really is a full-size tank whip that's been slightly shortened because obviously the helical wound in gradually makes its way around the fiberglass core so if you stretch that out it's going to be pretty much uh, a quarter wave tank whip in length so uh, that's it that's the uh, ampro am dash pro call it what you will and um there we go it's the standard um three eight inch thread one thing i have noticed with a few antennas at least on my uh, my mount on the back of the polo that thread is quite long and it bottoms out on the mount before the actual nut element of it is in contact with the top of the the mount so uh, not really a big problem i have noticed it's probably more to do with the mount than the uh, antenna but uh, perhaps if that was uh, a thread shorter it would allow it to seat in my um, my mount properly but uh, apart from that um i like it so uh, in the next section of video i will show you it going up against uh, the previous winner of my um, small antenna smallish antenna shootout that i did in the uh, polo and that, that was the uh, four foot um, triple top load so uh, I put these back to back non pretty much non scientific test results could quite well vary from vehicle to vehicle but uh, I thought I'd do a quick rudimentary test from a few miles away back to the uh, loft antenna base station and um, see the difference between the signal strength on these two antennas enjoy Okay, before we go outside, I'll, I'm just about to go outside and show you uh, the uh, AM Pro lined up against some other antennas to give you an idea of its length. But uh, let's go through the specs a little bit more. It's uh, HF mobile antenna, uh, 11 meter single band, 250 watts, fiberglass, helical, tunable whip, rust resistant, high efficiency, 3 8 inch stud mount, approximately 2.4 meters long. So um, uh, SWR resonance should be 1.5 to 1 or less. Um, the whip is tunable for lowest SWR and double locked with stainless steel grub screws. Uh, blah, blah, blah. If you require greater bandwidth than 80, you may be required. And uh, that's pretty much all they say about it, apart from some other blurb. But... Um, there we go if you want to pause the video let's go outside and see how it measures up quick comparison of length there look there's four antennas queued up first one is the uh, tri load triple load next up is the seven foot fire stick thunder stick it's a fire stick copy Next up is the AM Pro, the Ampro. There's the uh, the join there before the uh, or where the base section, helically wound base section, joins to the top whip, and that's probably about a foot longer than the uh, seven foot thunder stick. And um, there, the longest one, the lot is the full two piece tank whip. So there they are. Okay folks, back out again tonight, just doing a very rudimentary test between two antennas. Just uh, simply screw it on top of the uh, little polo and I've got the camera running back at the base station to uh, compare signals. And tonight it's the um, triple top load that uh, came slightly on top last time against a brand new antenna that's just arrived. And uh, it is the Sigma Eurocom. I'll do a proper uh, review of this as we go along and uh, it's basically quite a nice long antenna and uh, it's called the Sigma Eurocom AM Pro 11 meter. 
So uh, first of all, I'll put the triple load on the roof and then I'll swap over to this new one. And uh, when we get back, we'll see what signal strengths these antennas have managed to put back to the base station. Right, seen that one before, that's the four foot triple top load. So let's give that one a try first. First antenna under test, the triple top load. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. First antenna under test, the triple top load. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Right, pretty big twig this one. Not far off length of the whole quarter wave tank whip. So uh, let's give it a go. Right, second antenna under test. It's the Sigma Euro and it's the AM Pro 11 meter antenna. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Right, second antenna under test. It's the Sigma Euro. And it's the AM Pro 11 meter antenna. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, folks, so uh, there wasn't a lot in that, was there? I know that meter is not going to be particularly accurate, but um, at least in that little rudimentary uh, three mile ground wave test back to the base station, the um, AM Pro was uh, only a, a needle's width at most, a gnat's whisker. A smidgen up on the uh, triple top load but uh, I guess that would probably represent about a DB extra gain over this one but it does go to show that this four foot antenna does punch above its weight considering this is a, a, an eight foot antenna 2.4 meter antenna so uh, there we go but um, yeah um, as far as um, shooting skip I would imagine because it's uh, it's a quarter wave it's gonna be pretty good on the sporadic key and uh, if it's an antenna that's good on ground wave should also be pretty good on the uh, the low angle radiation required to uh, shoot the f layer skip uh, when it uh, it returns so uh, there we go so uh yeah i like the antenna i like the weight of it and i like the way that the whip can be uh, stored within the uh, tube of the antenna itself I'd be a little bit concerned that that tube could fill up with water or moisture so uh, I would suggest if you've been using it out in uh, wet weather bring it inside and allow it to dry out but uh, apart from that uh, I like it but um, what I will be doing shortly is putting this antenna up against some of the other ones that I own I'll probably uh, put it on the RAV4 next time and uh, we'll see how it fares against things like the uh, I don't know the um, full-sized two-piece stainless steel tank whip and um, one of my personal favourites, the seven foot fire stick copy, the thunder stick that I've got. Uh, and I, I don't know, that's going to be a big shout to, uh, to see which one comes out on the top there. Will that fire stick kick this thing's ass? I don't know. Uh, my guess, it's all going to be just needle wits in it. But um, yeah, stick with it. Those videos will be coming up soon. And um, I'm pretty excited to see which one wins out. Catch you on the next one. Cheers all.